want to talk a little bit about your characters. Now, I'm not going to make you choose a favorite because I know Don't. with authors, it's, <laughs> it's probably impossible for you. But I was wondering if you maybe could tell me a little bit about some of the characters that really stand out for you, that, that even, even after years, you still remember yep. them. Okay, well, Devil Sinster would have to be an, a, one of the outstanding ones. Um, I still remember Jack Hinden simply because he was one of the earliest. Um, that was from Captain Jack's Woman. Um, and that's uh, Captain Jack's Woman. That's really where you made a name for yourself. Yes, that's like you got RT's attention. You won all sorts of awards for that yep. one, and readers around the world's attention mm -hmm. with with your level of detail and also just what a great story that the hero. I think in particular, mm. he was just phenomenal. Yeah, so he stays in my mind. Um, so him, Devil, uh, Sinister, and I, I generally keep the, you know, most of the characters in my head. I can sort of go back, particularly when I'm using them for secondary characters. It's like, oh yes, I know them still. You know, they're still there in my head, even though their stories were told a long time ago. Uh, of course, Royce um, is, Duke of Wolfston is just too good a character to sort of, he's too strong <laughs> a character. Um, and I often use Charles, um, the Earl of Lostwithiel. So, Keeping uh, all these names. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I have to stop and think a little. But uh, yeah, so I think, but I instantly see them. You know, I, I actually see them before I put the name to them. So they're, yeah, they're very real people in my head. <laughs> do, you, do you think of obviously their physicality if you can mm -hmm. see them? Yep. Do you attach that to maybe an actor or, or somebody famous? No. Or is it just completely a composite of, of uh, what comes yes, out of your head? Yes, that's right. It's completely a composite of what I. I mean, I may be using all sorts of visuals from everything you see because that's how you, anybody does it. But um, yeah, they once they're constructed in my head, that's them. But they never, I know a lot of other authors sometimes use, you know, models and whatnot that they cut out of magazines and so on. I've never done that because I've never found a model who matches up to my imagination. <laughs> so um, yeah, no, it's, it's totally my imagination. But um, once I've got them, they usually, once I've written their book, they're usually very stable. Um, visuals in my mind. I'm a very visual author. I actually see everything in my head that I'm writing. You know, it's not something that I construct and then see. I see first, and then I have to describe. I think a lot of readers feel that way when they're reading you. Is is it is such a, a fluid language that you use mm. that it, it really is something almost cinematic that you can yes. imagine. Cinematic is a good. It's actually better than cinematic because it's like three D sensory sound plus. You know, you get all the emotions, you get everything. You are, it's actually as if you are there, and that's how I see it. So, well, I know also you've you've said before in interviews that a lot of times these characters kind of for you take over a little bit and kind of create oh, yeah. a life of their own. They they quite often dictate, and when I'm talking to um, aspiring authors and sort of talking about how a story comes about, uh, for me it's very much a case of. I get my, I know who my two characters are right from the beginning. I spend a lot of time getting to know them, if you like, before I actually sit down to start even outlining the story. And it's essentially, if you look at all my books, you'll find that the two characters meet fairly early on. Uh, and even if they meet a little bit further in, it's still, you know, you are following them and you know they're going to meet. So once they meet, they meet in a certain circumstance, in a certain situation, and that propels them on, right? They are, neither of them can step back from that point because they both have a reason for going forward. Um, and for one reason or another, they can't avoid the other. <laughs> so and that's where you come in, for one reason where, or another. That's right, but the reason is already there. You know, it's, in, it's inherent in that situation. So mm -hmm. from that point on, I am just following them. So, and to some extent, that's where the authenticity comes in because you're authentic to the characters as well in the sense that the characters, it's how the characters react to every situation, like the heroine does something which impacts on the hero, so then the hero has to think about, okay, how do I respond to this? And you always follow their responses, not yours, right? You can't ever dictate from that point, from the point where they've met, you can't dictate, they dictate. Can you tell me um, a couple of stories maybe of when your characters really surprised you, you didn't know what was going to happen until it kind of came together and then there was a surprise for you as the author? Yes, it has happened a number of times. I'm trying to think of a specific example. Um, uh, I suppose sometimes, and you know, again, this is a, a story for um, uh, aspiring authors, that there are times when I think um, I really don't 
want to have a really large love scene, right? Because there's an awful lot of love scenes in this book, so maybe I can sort of you know, condense this one into a much more simple, you know, uh, something that can be dealt with in two pages and not 20. And then I'm writing along and I come to it and I try to write it short and then I read past it and I think, nope, sorry, <laughs> go back, do it. You know, the, as far as the characters are concerned, this is a major scene, it has to be played out fully. And so it's things like that, that, you know, yes, the characters decide how, you know, large or you know, how important it is to them, if you like. And uh, that ha then has to dictate how I write it. So. Yes, sometimes I wish it was other ways that I could have more control over this thing, but no. <laughs>